Hi everyone, in this video we are going to do a end-to-end -end project using Lakehouse in Microsoft Fabric. Let's get started. Log in to your Microsoft Fabric account. Then click on below left hand corner and choose Data Engineering. Then click on Workspaces. Then click on New Workspace. Then provide a name to your workspace. Then provide workspace description. Then click on apply. Once your workspace is created, click on new. Then choose lake house. Then provide name to your lake house. Then click on create. Once your lake house is created, you will see two things one is tables and the other one is files. Tables will store delta tables. And files will store all the external file which are uploaded into the lake house. You can see we have multiple options to load the data into lake house, but in this video we will cover Dataflow Gen 2. Click on Get Data. Then choose on Dataflow Gen 2. Then, you will be moved to the Dataflow Gen 2 Power Query Editor window. Then click on Import from Excel. Then choose Upload File, Preview. Then click on Browse. Then choose the file which you want to load in your system. It will take few minutes to load it. Once load is done, click on Next. Then choose the sheets which you want to load into the Power Query Editor. I have Sales and Return Sheet. I will choose both of them. Then click on Create. Then both the sheets are loaded into the Dataflow Gen 2 Query Editor. You can see few default steps are applied in the query editor. Source, taking the source file location. Then navigation, choosing the sheet. Then promote headers, choosing the first row as header. Then changed column data type. As you can see same steps are applied for return sheet as well. In sales table we have order information, product information, sales and profit information and customer information. And in return table we have information of the all the orders which are returned. If you want to perform any transformation in query you can do that. Choose of column. Go to a particular column. Then remove columns. Keep rows. Remove rows. By right click on any column. You can see we can perform so many transformations. Split columns. Change data type. Transform column. Fill down and fill up. And so many other transformations. Like merge, trim, append, creating custom column, group by, removing column, filtering data, use of parameter, create list, manage connections, and many more. Right now I am not going to cover the transformation, I have created a separate video for use power query editor in Dataflow Gen 2. For all the steps applied in Power Query Editor over any table, all those steps are written in mQuery. Let me show you. Click on your table, then click on Advanced Editor. You can see all the steps are written here in mQuery. If you are familiar with mQuery, you write your step here directly otherwise you can do the use of the panel. Then at the below right hand corner you can choose the destination load location for your table. I want to load the data into the lake house, so I have choose my lake house. Then click on publish. 
Now my data flow is running and loading the data into the lake house. It will take few minutes to complete it. You can see we have three things for our lake house which we have created. One is lake house. Another one is SQL endpoint. Another one is default dataset. Lake house is where all your data will be loaded either in terms of delta table or files. SQL endpoint will be used to query your delta tables and to your own create model. Whatever the data you will load into the delta tables in Lakehouse, by default a dataset will be created. You can also create your own dataset other than the default dataset. By using the dataset you can create your report and dashboard. Once data load is done, click on your Lakehouse. You can see both sales and return table are loaded into the Lakehouse tables folder. Click on Lakehouse at the top right hand corner. And choose SQL Endpoint. You will be moved to the SQL Endpoint home window. At the below left hand corner you can see Data View, Query View and Model View. In Data View, you can see all your tables and files and their data in the lake house. In the query view, you can create your SQL query. In the model, you can see the model schema. Let's explore query view. Let's write a simple query to select all data from sales table. Then run it. Below you can see the sales table data. Now, let's write a query to select all data from return table. Select it. Then run it. Below you can see the return table data. Now, let's join both the tables on order underscore ID column. We will use sales table left join with return table. Because sales table contains all the orders and return table contains only return orders. And we want all orders data. We will select all the columns from both the tables. Now, let's run it. You can see, we have the data from both the tables. Now, let's write a query to get the count of total orders per product. And count of orders which are returned per product. For this we join both the tables. And group by product column from sales table. Then we selected product column from sales table. And the count, asterisk, for count of all orders per product. And then we write a case statement for the orders which are return. Where we put one for returned order L0. And then we are summing all ones. And we put order by at the end. By count of orders which are return. I hope that's clear to you. Now, select the query and run it. You can see the result below. Product car body covers has been returned 100 times out of 826. Car mat is retuned 98 times out of 826. So this is how you can write SQL query to get the insight of your data in Lakehouse. Now we will explore model view in Lakehouse. Click on model. In all tables tab, all the tables will be mentioned which exists in the lake house. We can create a relationship between the tables. Let's create a one-to-one -one relationship between the sales and return table based on order underscore ID. Move order underscore ID column from return table to sales table and match it with order underscore ID column. Then provide cardinality as one-to-one. -one and cross filter direction is both. Then click on confirm. Relationship is created.
Relation will be helpful when you create a dashboard using this dataset. Click on Default Dataset, you will see both Sales and Return table is here. It is by default created when you create a lake house. Now let's create a visual query. Click on New Visual Query. Drag the Sales table to the panel. Then drag the Returns table to the panel. In Visual Query, you can do the transformation by just drag and drop. Just like we did in Power Query Editor of Dataflow Gen 2. Let's merge both the tables based on order underscore ID. We will use Sales table as left and Returns table as right. Choose Left Join and then click on OK. As you can see, both the tables are merged. Now expand the returns table. We will pick the order underscore ID and sales underscore amount column from the returns table. Click on View SQL to check the SQL query created at the back end for all the applied steps. You can see a SQL query is created. Click on Close. Just like this we can perform so many transformations visually. Now click on Model. Then click on Reporting tab. Then click on New Report. You will be moved to the new page. As you can see, we have window just like Power BI Report View. Let's create some visuals. Create a card for total return orders. Choose chart from visual panel, then drag order underscore ID column of return table. Then do the count distinct of order underscore ID. Give some name to the card. Then create a card for total orders. Choose chart from visual panel, then drag order underscore ID column of sales table. Then do the count distinct of order underscore ID. Give some name to the card. Just like this, we can create as many as visuals in our report. Remember you can't create calculated measure and calculated column here. Which you need to create in your dataset in Lakehouse. So this is how you can create a dashboard using dataset of a Lakehouse. Let's go back to the main window. Now click on New Power BI Dataset. You can choose as many as tables you want to put in your dataset. Then click on Confirm. Then you will be moved to the next window. Here you can see a new Power BI Dataset has been created. You can create the measure and you can build the report using this dataset. Now click on Workspaces to see the datasets. Then choose your workspace. Here you can see different dataset has been created other than the default dataset. Let's go back to the main window. Click on Manage Default Power BI Dataset. By this you can add and remove the tables in your default dataset as well. Now let's create a measure in your dataset which you can further use in your Lakehouse report. We will create a measure to count the number of total return orders. You can see the measure has been created in the returns table in the Lakehouse table. That's it in this video. You can see my other videos, if you want to know more about Dataflow Gen 2, Dataset, Report and Power Query Editor. Thank you for watching this video.